Um, today we're going to be giving a worm to chickens. These are mealworms, I think. Oh, Sophie likes to give them a oh, treat crap. every once in a while. It fell. And she wants you guys to see what they do. All right, she's got a big, fat, juicy worm. Here you go. Take it. And this is what happens. Somebody will take it and run. Oh. Why is it always different when we turn on the camera? So basically, they run around screaming, I got it, I got it! It's like chicken tag. And then all the rest of them usually chase him. <laughs> He's just doing it himself. Chase me, chase me. We've done this already a few times this morning, so they're all tired. He's got it over there and well oh. this, this one always gets a worm. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Alright, that was so anticlimactic compared to what they normally do. We wanted to show you guys because it's how we entertain ourselves. <laughs> one gets a, a worm and screams at the top of its lungs and this goes running. One again. And then usually they chase each other. But good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. Welcome back to spring. We had spring last week and then we had winter again and now we're back to spring. And by the end of this week, well by Sunday, we should have summer and then back to winter. That's what happens in Ontario. The weather is so crazy here, it's so crazy. We're up doing chores this morning and we're headed to the barn. So he's riding a new horse, another horse. One of Brandon's new horses, Brandon's always getting in new horses. She's riding him, trying him out, see if she likes him. And we're thinking what we might do is keep looking at horses, but kind of put off buying one or set our expectations to buy one in the fall. Because right now, like I told you guys, there are no geldings available, very few geldings available. Because it's show season and everybody wants to show, so they keep everything that they have. But come fall, when show season is over, horses go for sale like crazy. Daisy is back on a long lead. Which is a lunge rope. Yeah, which is our lunge rope. And the reason that she's on it is why, Sophie? Why? Why is she on that? Um, so if she runs away from me, because... She's back into training mode because she's deaf. Everything takes a little longer when you're deaf. And she does really, really well, you guys have seen. Sophie's taught her to do tricks and to follow rules and behave, but she still will run up to the barn if she, or up to the house if she gets nervous. And if we don't notice her running up there, I just feel nervous her running free away from us. Yeah, she just does sit up there and not do anything crazy, but we want to make sure that she's safe always. So Sophie's reminding her with the longer lead rope to pay attention to the rules. And to stay, even with distractions. Good job. That's so good. Yay! And Ruby's just cat watching. Gabby is on her way. My battery is dying. And we're taking everybody's blankets off again because, like I said, we're back to summer. I know. She loves to have her face cleaned. Um, so we're back to summer today. So we're, everybody's getting their blankets off. It's still a bit cold right now but it's gonna be 14 degrees. Penny is nice and warm and cozy inside of her blanket, so that's good to know. We have a traffic jam. We had a traffic jam in the middle of the arena of the barn. You stop itching, I know you got your blanket off. Yeah, they're like, yay, blanket's off. There you go. Yeah, they're excited to have their blankets off, but they were probably really glad to have them on yesterday. I've been trying to clean out our tact box getting it ready for show season, getting it all packed up, getting our fly mask together so I can order what we need. So he's trying a new horse at the barn and I think he deserves the most stunning horse, you guys. Like this he's horse, so this horse is stunning inside and out. And it's a, it's a he. Yeah, it's a he, you can't find many he's. But anyways, I think he deserves like a really cute saddle pad. Yeah, he already has really cute ornaments. So my kids like plain saddle pads. I think. No, he... I like um, I like the Ogilvy. Yeah, and we I'll have. Or any Ogilvy saddle pad, just I can't use a pink one. Where are the red boots that you <laughs> had for a storm? Do you know where they are? Hang on. Hang on. So Sophie's trying to figure out what she's gonna bring for him. We, where are like we've lost all of our stuff. That one I think needs to go in the garbage. It's a crochet one. I like it. It can stay with us. 
Like, where are... We had so many, you guys. Where are all the stuff? You will look really cute in this. Yeah, in the green, I think. I'm worried that I have a broody hen. And I'm worried about the amount of feathers that are in this coop. And the poop. Who's been pooping? It has to be him. Because our girls don't poop a lot in here. I feel like there's been some action happening on, on the day-by-day -day farm. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But every time I come out to collect the eggs, I notice this girl's never leaving the nest. And it, for two days now, I haven't been able to get eggs. And I pushed her over yesterday to try and get the eggs. And there were none, but I think she carried them with her. I'm gonna look and see if she's broody. She might be trying to hatch some fertile eggs. And if she is, I might let her. There are all the missing eggs. Those are all the missing eggs, you guys. She pecked the camera. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, two, four, two, four, six eggs. I think she's broody. I'm gonna let you go to it, little Miss Broody. All right, you go ahead. Do what you gotta do now that we have a rooster. She's so beautiful, I love her. She's my coachin hen, and coachins often go broody, and she's the one that lays the tiny baby eggs. So it is my determination that she has stolen the chicken eggs. <laughs> you have stolen the chicken eggs. You want babies? I think we're about to have your very first babies. They look as confused as I am. <laughs> Came out yesterday to collect the eggs, and she was sitting there, and it was way past the time that they're usually done laying. And so when I saw her sitting there, I gently pushed her over, just slid her over. And when I looked there, there were no eggs, none. And I was like, wait a minute, that does not make sense. There should be at least three eggs here. And then when I was supposed to be sleeping, because that's what happens to women, I was thinking like, hmm, maybe when I pushed her over there, she dragged the clutch with her. And then when I came down this morning to just check now, I was like, hmm, this seems a little sus. A little sus. Guess what, Sophie? No eggs? Yeah, they're being held hostage. Oh. By a broody coachin. Oh. So, I'm gonna, gonna let her hatch them. them. What do you think? Okay. All right, I think we have a plan for Gabby's birthday. I don't want anything for her birthday. Yeah. That's why I'm so easy to shop for because yes. I love everything. Yeah. When it's like Christmas or my birthday or Mother's Day, I always have like a long list of things that anybody who wants to buy me something can choose from because... Dad just, Dad just buys it and then um, we take it and we wrap it and stuff. Yeah. We've got two dirty boys. <laughs> Look who's excited to see you, Gabby. Finn be looking like a mess, but that's okay. Getting your blankets off today. I might even have to lose the winter coat today. Yeah. We're also changing fields soon, you guys. I think this weekend. So, like I said, we're gonna be changing fields. So, oh, hi. We're gonna be changing fields so that the horses have a bigger field and they can go out on grass this summer. Chino will not be going out on grass, but we're gonna have a bigger field because our horses are bigger, need more room, need more space. Everybody's looking muddy. You're looking so super muddy, baby. Yes, you are. <laughs> it's a baby nose. Ew. Don't kiss babies. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, Finn spooked. Who lets the spooky guy go first? Finn spooked. And then, and then Chino spooked. And then, Laura spooked. Like I said, Sophie's riding a different horse, one of Brandon's horses today. So with three horses, so I get to take charge of one horse and Gabby gets to take charge of one horse and Sophie's taking charge of one horse. And we got our, yeah, Sophie's in love with the horse that she's been riding, that she's starting to ride. So we have a bunch of stuff here. All the stuff that we use to take care of our horses. We have water, we have everything you need. We even have stirrups today. The barn has a bunch of stuff for sale and this is the same saddle pad brand that I have or close to it, it's super thick and it's pink. Mine right now is like a purple color but this might actually be purple too. But anyway, I'm gonna buy it. I have to just tell Brandon. Add it to my tab, Brandon. I like it. Also, we have 
Storm's old saddle back in town. You guys remember when we first got Storm, we bought this saddle to go with him. It was his first saddle. So he's gonna try it on the horse that she's riding because he's uh, building up into weight and so he might fit that. Also, we, we have, oh my gosh, she no pooped. <laughs> We also have been trying to find a better saddle for Sophie because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the saddle that she rides Denver in fits her a lot better. And I think like a lot of the reason why she rides him so well is because of the saddle. So we're looking for a saddle. I found one that I think will work for her. Uh, I just, the lady, waiting for the lady to message me back. Sophie tried riding the horse that she's riding right now that she's been trying in Denver saddle last night. It worked really well, and I think it definitely is what makes a big difference for her. So that's our next journey, you guys. Journey to find a saddle to fit Sophie and any horse that she's gonna buy. Like, that's the trouble. We have to kind of wait and see what her new horse is gonna be like before we make any big changes. All right, so we're gonna try this one today. Definitely not gonna fit Sophie, but it might fit the horse. You guys remember, this was like, I was so, Oh, sorry. I was so proud of this saddle long ago when we got no, it. This is the comfiest saddle I've ever ridden. Gabby says it's the comfiest saddle she's it's ever ridden in. Look creepy, but it is. Yeah. Oh, actually, it's a little bit pinchy right there for him, but. It does not fit Gino. No, it does not fit Gino. I don't know why she even. Yeah, it does not even sit on his back. Why are you putting it on him? Just I to need check. To see if the straps are even. Just to check the stirrups. Yeah, look at that. Also, now that it's warm out, we have been spending so much time like grooming and cleaning them and making them like all fancy and it feels so good. Especially there, like when we come to ride at lessons, it's so much, you have to be more fast paced. But when we come during the day, we can like really spend time with them. Chino be looking so cute. So, so big and so cute and beautiful. All right, so we are up and we are at it. And Chino, no, Grayfin looks like a black and white horse today. Gabby groomed him so well, but he's wet. He's wet with bloody, with bloody. He's wet with muddy water, you guys. You guys are gonna all be shocked when it is show season and this boy is looking <laughs> handsome with a white tail. You're gonna say, who's that gorgeous horse out there? And soon the, the mud will all dry up and our horses will be looking a lot cuter. So uh, riding Grayfin in um, plain snaffle today to see how he does. That's what Brandon thought we were riding him in, but we weren't. Still tipping his head to the inside a bit. He looks good, Gabby. Oh, we are ready to go home. <laughs> Seems like we spent the whole entire day here. We did. Uh, Can I we're... Phone here first, please? Yeah. Put your phone in my purse. Anyway, we're headed home. Sophie had the best ride of her life. So she's riding one of Brandon's horses and not my horse. So I probably won't share them unless Sophie decides like that. So she's gonna be riding and it's not a school horse, it's a Brandon horse. So do you like them? Yeah, I love them. Yeah, and they really connect, like really connect. Gabby rode them, they do not connect. <laughs> and that's okay. Something that I've learned about horses is that energy is so important. Like, you have to connect with your horse's energy. But anyway, like I said, um, hopefully you'll get to see a little bit of that ride or a little bit of a future ride with this horse. He's really amazing. And Sophie really bonds with him. It's a really nice boy. But anyway, oh, oh and he is so gorgeous. And he's good at standing on the mountain block. So gorgeous. Stands at the mountain block. So anyway, we'll keep you guys posted on all that stuff let's go home i brought the stool home because i'm gonna be riding my girl it's finally warm enough that we can take all the blankets and all the stuff we've been transporting back and forth to the barn out of the car so we we're at costco and gabby stayed home to have a shower because she was riding and sam's taking pictures of stuff <laughs> trying to find ideas for gabby's birthday that's adorable that's adorable it's like this beautiful comforter we asked her if she wanted an ipad I want the, and she said no, but that's adorable. She uses my iPad all the time. I want, I want the case too. We asked her if she wanted a new Apple Watch. She said no. Like, I don't know what is wrong with her, but my boys are like pen. that too. I want a pen. So I think I'm going to get these. They are Stroop, 
Stroop waffles. They're like waffles with syrup on the inside. And when you have coffee in the morning, you put it over top of your coffee and it melts it and it's so yummy. Sam wanted to get this big, huge lounge thing because we already talked to Kaylee and we're going back to Boy Beach this summer and it would be so fun. We could just go out on the lake and we could take oars with us and just float around. But the only problem is it's huge and how would we carry it everywhere? Is it an avocado? A chameleon? I think so. It's adorable. Oh, I have this. Oh, yeah, the mini, mini one. That's adorable. Oh, lion. It's adorable. All right, so Sophie get, like, loves fish cooking it. fish. And we have not ever had those red fish before. What the heck? Oh, yeah, we've had so those. This is a bass. Yeah, those would probably taste better. This is uh, tilapia. Tilapia. I've seen someone catch that. How about these, Sophie? Would you cook us some mussels? We had mussels on Good Friday. Or shrimp? Red shrimp. Yeah, you can't have that, right? Okay, they so have Sophie. We taste test here, and they are so good. We did all the taste tests, and now, we're going, on, now we're going around trying to find all the food that they sell at the taste test. We got test. the cheese. We got Gouda cheese, Gouda and cheese. now we're looking for crackers. Are those the crackers? I think so. I think those are those the crackers. Don't you know that you're beautiful?